same question I asked kind of just sorry, I mean, yep. just what are your immediate thoughts on just everything in the draw? Um, I think it's kind of exciting because we went to Stanford last year in the tournament for the Sweet 16, so it's kind of fun to have a second chance to go and um, maybe do something differently than we did last year. Um, this is my last season, so I'm just excited to be in the tournament and my season um, to go on longer than expected. So, do you, do you think you know after last year's tournament run, you know, this year, do you think it's it's a little bit of an advantage? You know, now it's not really new to you guys anymore. Mm -hmm. Stanford's not new either. You know, yeah, I definitely you. think us being in the tournament. Uh, once before does give us a little bit of an advantage because we know like how it feels, what we need to do, um, how we need to prepare and things like that. So I think being a little more experienced on that side definitely gives us an advantage going into Stanford. And just take me through, you know, you've been here since David's been here. You committed yeah. to him at Arkansas State. And yeah. You came here. Just take me through your just you, you being part of sort of the, the building of this program. Mm -hmm. and, I think you told me you know, first game that first season. I think it was 120 fans, and then first game yeah. this year was a record setter. Yeah, um, coming here, I knew that we or knew me personally. I wanted to make this program something that it's never been before, um, and I'm just glad to be a part of that and be a part of Dave's legacy and things like that. Um, going from <coughs> Playing, I think it was LSU or something, our first game, where we only had 100 fans and it grew to like 4,000, something like that, I'm going to say. Um, it's really exciting just to see the program of it and just being a part of it makes me feel a little bit accomplished just for coming in as the program that it was, as low as it was, to make it um, to be successful as it is, and just to be a part of that is really exciting and yeah. What was just sort of that process for you individually sort of going through that, that the grind, the blood, sweat, and tears to get it? Um, yeah, to be successful, there's a lot of things that you have to do. You really have to buy into the coaches, the program, the things they want to do. Um, and to be successful, they've harped a lot on your hard work and your work ethic. And I feel like this team really has that. And that's the thing that we have um, advantage over a lot of people as well, just our work ethic and our defense. So. And, uh, you know, this being your last year, I mean, what does it mean for you for your last year to be this team's first big year? <coughs> Yeah. It just have you know, all of this happen. Yeah. It honestly means a lot to end my career the way that we've ended it. Um, for me personally, I just want to be where my feet are with these last couple games that I have left. I'm glad that it went farther than just conference, and now we're going into the tournament. Um, so, like I said, just wanting to be where my feet are, be with my teammates, take in all the moments that we have uh, together before it's over. And, you know, how, how big was just sort of this end of the season, mm -hmm. the sort of run, I think it was, was 9 of 11 yeah. wins, uh, just – Take me through just sort of that, that uh -huh. moment from that, you know, from that the Texas loss to now. Yeah. How the team sort of progressed. Um, we kind of said after the Texas game that we were going to win out after that. Um, we had a good stretch there. Maybe didn't finish exactly how we wanted, but, I mean, last night we finished strong and got some good wins and put ourselves in the best place we could. So. And, you know, just you know, last night being senior day for you, and this is sort of your last run, is there a little mm -hmm. extra – juice for you going into this one a little bit? Yeah, I'm excited. I think I just want to enjoy it, have a good trip with my teammates, and um, yeah, of course I want to win, but we'll take it one game at a time, just tackle the first one first, and then go from there. Um, you know, what, what do you just think, just over the season and now going to this thing are going to be the keys for you guys? Mm -hmm. you know, heading um, I think our serving and our defense has been huge for us. When we play pretty good defense, um, we can give some teams a hard time. So I think if our defense is there, our passing is there, um, and we have everybody healthy and back, then I think we'll be good. And, you know, sort of what does it mean to you for, you know, your journey here? Take mm -hmm. me through that coming here, but also mm -hmm. just what it means to be here at this, yeah. at this, <coughs> this first group 12 year and also just being able to mm -hmm. sort of have that success. Um, I mean, this is what I came here for. I wanted to come back to the tournament. Um, I've been to the tournament before and um, you know I've had some up and down seasons but I came here just wanted to have a good year win some games go to the tournament and that's what we're doing so I probably couldn't ask for more. Abby you know this is your this is going to be sort of your last ride what, I mean mm -hmm. how much extra motivation does that give you you know coming into this, this tournament? Yeah I mean I'm just really excited um, you know we only have so many guaranteed games throughout the season and I think you know like our standard was making the tournament so I'm really excited that we get to keep playing. And, you know, you've been here again since, David, you committed to the previous coaching staff, correct? Correct, I mean, yeah. What was that process like for you, you know, with him coming in and mm -hmm. then you staying here? Why did you stay? Right. And, you know, just the building of the program since then. 
Um, yeah, I mean, when I chose Houston, I chose the school and I chose, you know, I chose the program. So I knew that even with the staff changing, like, this was going to be where I was going to be. And it really worked out in my favor because I have loved the staff and everything. What, what were those, those years like, just building things up to this point, the grind, the, mm-hmm. the ups and downs and all that for you personally? Yeah, I mean, Dave always says, like, can you even imagine, like, where we are now, like, thinking back to their first year and... I can't because it's just been complete flip around. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's just hard work. We've put in a lot, a lot of work to get to where we are. and I'm really excited. And, you know, just your relationship with David over the years, you mm-hmm. know, growing with him, with this program, mm-hmm. you know, what, just, can you speak a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I just put a lot of trust in him. Um, you know, like, I did get recruited by him, but coming in, meeting him, you know, I knew that, you know, I was like, I trust him, and he's doing amazing things with this program, so. And how special is it for you for your last year to be, you know, this team's first Big 12 year, and mm-hmm. such a, and, you know, all the attendance records being shattered and all mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, I mean, I knew once that it got announced that we were going to the Big 12 that I wanted to stay, you know, for my fifth year. Because um, it's just a really awesome opportunity to play in a, a Power 5 conference and coming from the American. Yeah, it's been a really awesome year. And just, you know, what... What do you think are the keys going into this, you know, for you personally and just mm-hmm. sort of as for the team? Yeah, I think that we just need to be in the moment. I mean, there's a lot of seniors, so I think we're just going to be really excited and, you know, we want to keep playing as long as we can, so. How much extra juice is sort of the, the end of the, another crack at Stanford for you? For Stanford? Yeah, for uh, potentially, of course. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it's going to be really cool. I mean, they're an awesome team. They're, you know, they're historically really, really good, so. I think it'll be really exciting to hopefully get to play them again. Is it sort of your reaction to the draw, especially, you know, of course you guys are going to be focused on UC Santa Barbara, but the chance to get another shot at Stanford after last year? Yeah, I think getting the draw was definitely unexpected, but I think we're familiar with the gym and with the area and being there under the pressure of the tournament. So I'm excited to go back and get another shot at it. I feel like we have a really good team this year. We have a lot of things we've built this program on. So I'm excited to go back and get a second chance. Uh, just through the progression of this year, can you just go back and sort of look at you know that, that month on the road and then sort of the, the first few Big 12 matchups? I mean, how's the team sort of come back from that and it's also just progress up to this point? Yeah, I think that month where we were on the road really tested us a lot. I think that we got a lot of growth from that, and I think those losses that happened during those times um, really needed to happen because I felt like we grew a lot from that. We gained a lot more of our identity back after those losses, Um, but having that stretch where we got our confidence back and went on a little bit of a winning streak, I think built built our confidence going to the tournament. So proud of how we ended, how we started, and it's all about how well you do in December. So. And how much? How- and I, I asked this to, to Rick. I mean, how big was it to sort of have that that season last year? It's just so you know, none of this is new now. This is you've been here, been there, done that sort of a little bit. Yeah, it definitely builds an expectation. I think going into the tournament now, whatever draw we get, wherever we go, I think always in the back of my mind, I'm thinking Sweet 16, Elite Eight, how we can push to the next step. I think it just creates a new standard in our gym, and it's really exciting to see the growth that came from that last year. And you know, with these this group of seniors, I mean, what do they mean? You know, to you, especially, you know, Abby and, and Rachel there, who have been here since the beginning with Dave. Yeah, they are a huge cornerstone to this program. It's been fun getting to play with them and kind of grow with them, and it's definitely going to be weird competing without them, but I think it gives us a lot more of a motivation to go out there this year and just play for them. Um, but, yeah, they are my rocks. They are so fun to have out there and be teammates with, so I'm just excited to go out and do this for them. Well, I think we're 20, 30 minutes removed from – that draw I mean just what are your reactions and also sort of potentially getting another crack at that stuff yeah it just made us wait a while <laughs> but um, good to hear your name and and be represented in the tournament it's a goal from day one uh, I know nothing about Riverside haven't seen Stanford play in a long time so it's just exciting that we get another opportunity and just excited to see this second part of our season and you know how, how big is it you know after last year to go into this tournament knowing that, you know, it's not new. Anymore, yeah. You know, you know, none of this process. And, and also it's not new going back to Palo Alto. I think that's another, there's going to be some familiarity, some less freaking out of the, what's going on, what do we do. So I, I think there's going to come that. A lot of the kids that are on our team now, I think everybody has played in the tournament um, during their career at some point. So it's, hopefully we just worry about the volleyball part now. And I, 
think I talked about this with you last night, but just this team, this first Big 12 team, just what does it mean to you? And, you know, not only the seniors, but just everybody, you know, K, yeah. and all those things. We just wanted to set the bar. We want to set the bar for our program, for the university, for for everything about being the kind of the team that kind of shows the way. And and we knew we were going to have some talent. Just getting talent to play together is hard. And the sacrifices that are made in the locker room and on the court every day, just proud of the kids and what we've gotten to.